Hello, you lovely lot. It is 10 to 7. Good morning. It is our travel home day, but we're not gonna mope in our room and get all sad and pack because where are we going? Also, I'll talk about it in a bit later. I'll talk about it in a bit later. So we're gonna head down to the bus and ride some rides. Right, heading for the bus. Looks like everyone's had the same idea. However, <clears throat> we're all up and at them. Right, we are off the bus, the sun is shining. Pretty busy, but heading into the parks. Right, we're heading in. Daisy, I've got all the vibes. I've got all the vibes. It is feeling. Yesterday when we came in as well. Yeah. <laughs> it is gonna be a beautiful day. The temperature's lovely. And uh, yeah, we're heading up to um, the entry to Islands of Adventure. We're gonna see what the queue's like. Still not made it over to the chocolate emporium. It does look really impressive. Fantastic. Do you not? Not a biggest fan of chocolate over here. I think they do savoury food as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a proper restaurant, I think. Right, it's 7.30, the entrance is just over there. And this is slightly shorter lines than when we came last time at this point, like the other day. We have to open the park. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming our honorary family. Right, we are all through security. One of the things I love most about this park is the music. It is all the feels. So we're just going up to Port of Entry, heading into the parks. I'm loving this. Rinsing out the parks on our last day. Just hit eight o'clock. Feels pretty busy days. It does, but everything's moving. Yeah, we're so I in. I think it's just congestion. Congestion, and we uh, we're in the queue for Hagrid's. I've set the time and see how long we're going to wait. Just to give you an idea of, you know, if you are on resort, getting onto the park, you know what to expect. But we were kind of close to the front when rope drop went down. Daisy wants those trousers. Right, so we've been in the queue for not very long. It's moving rapidly. I don't think this is gonna be 75 minutes. Fingers crossed. And there we go, a nice look at Hogsmeade for you. Right, that's Hagrid's done. On and off in 47 minutes. That ride is absolutely incredible. And now we're gonna have a quick look in Honey Dukes because you wanna come in here. I know, I love the, I love the theme in here. I've, I've had these before, they're the best things you can get in this shop. What are they? It's like chocolate with cotton candy. Should we get some? No, I'm feeling like a gummy sweet. Okay. It is lovely in here. So that's the last ride of Hagrid's done for the trip. How was that? Oh, front row. Oh, front row. We were hoping to get front row as well. And then, as they were like, I know there's seven carts, and then the people in front got row seven. I was like, we're at the front. It's so good. So and, good. And also, especially for you younger lot, yeah. if you are on holiday with mum and dad, and you got like a brother or a sister, and you're arguing over who is going to go on the motorbike and who is going to go in the sidecar, I promise you, they are just as good as one another. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't, when I, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to shout out. Go on in. Do a shout out to my, my mate Maddie, who I've to do. Yeah. I know I told you to go on the bike, but they're exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel actually, to be fair, if you have a preference over the other, I think your first ride experience will be better if you, you know, if you're hungry, like you know, if you if you want a snack, can you go for that snack? Yeah. You're more satisfied. <laughs> 
They're the same. So don't argue. Take it from Kivo. They are exactly the same. I enjoy oh, them both. It's the same ride. Yeah. It's the same ride. It's just yeah. Yeah. But if you can get on front row, also they don't let you choose front row on that one. But it was awesome. So we are now. Oh, there we go. Gonna hop in the queue for Velocicoaster. If single rider is open, we are definitely hopping on that because the one thing that we've learned on this trip, especially like back end of the trip, single rider is. Uh, potentially the way to go I think for us yeah I think yeah this ride it doesn't really matter who you sit next to yeah like, it's the same ride because so. you're all queuing up together which is like the important thing so we're gonna go and head on right it's just coming out for nine o'clock single rider isn't open but it's a 35 minute wait which is awesome for key markers you're ready to wait for the front row which was worth probably an extra five or six minutes amazing so much i really prefer that at the front it's a different ride at the front yeah, yeah just, it's just amazing right so the plan now i think the girls want to do some shopping on um city walk we might try and squeeze in a cheeky cat in the hat ride just for a bit of nostalgia so we're going to see if we can find tracy so it's coming up for about 9.35. If you are coming in this sort of time, sort of late April, early May, the weather is, what's the weather like? Glorious. It is glorious. Lovely. We had a few days at the beginning of the holiday where it was a bit overcast, but it was still hot. But I think today's like the hottest day it was gonna be, so it's warm. But if you're, like we've normally come sort of October, August, October time. So in the mornings when you open the door to your room to go outside, it's like, oh, wow, that's really hot. But this is, I think climate wise, probably the best time of year to come. Oh, but I think the first few days weren't kind of like warm enough for the pool. But now, like late April, early May, weather wise, spot on for me. Right, Daisy has seen some trousers that she might like. They are nice. Right, elephant trousers bought. Happy? Yeah, I think I might wear them on the plane. Oh, that's yeah. <laughs> they do look. Do you know what I like? Pajamas. They don't look like pajamas, so you can get away with wearing them in real life. <laughs> it's not like pajamas aren't real life, but yeah. You can go out. Yeah. Like, give me leggings and yoga pants all day. I'm done. Nice. Right. So you're gonna wear those on the plane. I might do. Yeah. Right. We're gonna go and scope out Cat in the Hat. That's where Tracy is. We might get on that. We might not. I'm ready for a coffee, I think. Right, heading through Zeus Landing. This is one of my favourite areas ever. Just because all the feels when the kids were I really little. Like when we were little, this was like my favourite bit of the park. Yeah, we're big Dr. Zeus fans. When the kids were little, I liked it because it all rhymed and it was easy to read. But Bedtime Stories was always Dr. Zeus. We had pretty much all of them. A lot of my, yeah, a lot of the way I am and my morals probably come from a lot of his books. Yeah. Right, let's find Trace. <laughs> now that's a plain outfit. You won't get lost in that. No. This shop is awesome for all your Grinchy needs. Oh, these are cute. That's too much. That's so cute. That is so cute. That's so cute. Oh. Oh. Sorry. They're so soft and they're so cute. Oh, they're lovely. Oh, they are cute. Feel the feet. That's a nice sound. <laughs> That is very cute. Very cute. Just met in, uh, bumped into Tracy. She's going to carry on shopping, get some presents for some friends. Uh, Luke 
newsflash has made it onto the parks. So I think we are going to meet up with Luke and uh, go and do Rocket. But en route, I've got to get a coffee. Really? Yep. Right, we are leaving Port of Entry for the final time this trip. How's that make you feel? A bit sad, but also I'm happy. Yeah. Happy sad. Yeah. Happy say. It has been brilliant this park. I'm not sure when we're going to be back. We're not going to be back at Universal for some time I wouldn't have thought. You know in the last six months we've had two trips here. We really feel like we've got to know it way better than before. Um, so yeah we are definitely jonesing for some Disney. So our next trip you know is going to be Disney based. But yeah this has been amazing and it yeah I'm happy but also kind of sad because I love this park. Right, quick coffee stop. Just a word to the wise. In our experience, the coffee shop on City Walk is way better than the one um, on the park. Just quicker, more efficient. Service is a bit better. Yeah, they're all over it, but the one on the park, a little bit slow. Right, in the tribute store. Yeah, last time they had all the Christmas stuff with the squirrel that we now know is called Earl. It was all in the merch here, so obviously it's not Christmas, they wouldn't have that out now. They've changed it. That's why I think of Earl being. Yeah, let's see if we can find Earl. Right. For your Monica tree, this would be a hard pass, wouldn't it, for Christmas? Yeah, yeah, that would be at the back, definitely. Because we're looking for a Christmas decoration today. I really like this shirt, Trace. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's cool. That's cool. Thank you. Yeah. Nice. Daisy's got a bit of a crisp crack crush. He's cute. He's cute. Cool, isn't it? I think it is Hagrid's one. We were just in the Legacy store, which was great, and now we are in, what's this one called? It's the Universal store in City Walk. It's massive? Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> right, more shopping. Like these. Yeah, they're very um, classy, I would yeah. say. Yeah. Get the clock, get the clock. Nice clock. <laughs> nice clock. How are we? Yeah, I'm close, I'm too close, get back, get back. Uh, morning Luke, what are you doing up? You could have had a lie in this morning, but it's last day. Last Tra day. Not last day, travel home day, but last it's still in holiday, I didn't make it into the parks on the last day. And not only did it ruin my holiday, it ruined my life for the next three months. Made it very awkward at home. Yeah, well we didn't speak for two weeks, did we? Yeah, it was, that was bad. pretty, was pretty frosty. Yeah, it was frosty. Um, but no, look, I'm here. Um, Hold on, I'm just, just going to change the angle, I like this angle. It's not good. Um, what have you done? Rocket? Yeah, we did Rocket, we did the old uh, secret, I don't know if you've spoken about the secret no. thing. For those who don't know, if you go on Rocket, when like, you put the seat lap thing down, and you've got the screen to pick your song, at the top there's a logo of Rocket, if you hold your finger on that logo for 10 seconds and let go, it sounds like something I've made up, 10 seconds and let go, a pin code opens up, Take it from your old pal Luke, put in 902, enter, and enjoy the rock and roll. It wasn't rock and roll, was it? No, it was what? the Muppets. <laughs> and then, so me and Daisy did it the first time, just listening to regular music, and then I thought, Daisy, let's make some memories, so we went round and both listened to the Muppets together. It was really funny. It was good. Yeah. Nice time. Yeah, we had a laugh. Awesome. Yeah. How, how have you been? How's the uh, shopping done? Yeah, good. Yeah, really good. You should have just seen Mum trying to answer her phone when a call came through on WhatsApp. It was amazing. <laughs> Mum's, Mum's it was like it was like a phone version of Whack a Mole, <laughs> but instead of moles, it was apps. It was all that. I really like this Harry Potter merch. Look at this clock. That would look good in our kitchen. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. And I like all of these. I actually kind of like that as well. Yeah. Loving it. And the cushions, very nice. We have, yeah, we have a winner for the Christmas decoration. Let's have a look. Ooh. Thought we'd get a Harry Potter one this time as we didn't get one last time. Yeah. It's very nice. I do like the Harry Potter sort of stuff. Yeah, it's got a nice style to it. Isn't yeah. It? Right, earlier on the trip. <laughs> like, we've all had like 
crappy luggage tags for years, so we thought we'd get nice ones. I've got my Galaxy's Edge <laughs> Black Spire one. And Tracy I've found one the other day. A nice Vera Bradley one, Mickey, Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, that lovely. And now I've seen this one. I'm like, can I have two? Is that just too much? That is really that nice. Is but no, you can't have two. That is too much. much. We've had a well successful like little present buying trip. Yeah, look. Bags. Get out of it. <laughs> We've got bags of shopping. Bags of shopping. Too much, much shopping, all right. Store. Yeah, one and we. Shop. I know. It's really good. Now we're in the surf shop. I want one of those straw hats. Get it. No, I don't think it'll suit me. You've earned it. Thanks. I'm you going in. It. Get it. Oh, I love this one. Where are you going? <laughs> what do you mean? Not you. Good night, mate. Hold on, what about like that? That's not a knife. What about like that? Uh, you look amazing. Thanks, ma'am. I think you should get it. Shall I? <laughs> oh, yeah. I like it, so that's strap on. I tell you what, I've never not seen sure. anyone suit a piece of clothing more than, than you right now. I like the way it squidges my ears down. I feel <laughs> like chunk, not this, chunk. This better be the thumbnail. Huh? Huh? No. Right, we're going in for some stone cold Steve Austin it's... ice cream. My joke. No, no, yeah. and, and you said it wrong. It's not. Go on in. Cold Stone Cream Austin. Oh, nice. That's way better. Yeah. Right, going in for ice cream. We'll turn it down. I need to look at the menu. Okay. <laughs> so cool. What do you think? How good is that? Ice cream. It is the best ice cream I've ever had. It's amazing. I don't eat a lot of ice cream though, but this is delicious. Yeah. What's it like? It's amazing, but look, it's like mozzarella. It kind of just shrinks. Uh, you've just ruined ice cream for thousands, well, hundreds of people. The, uh, mozzarella cheese, <laughs> Daisy, is it as good as you remembered? Oh, it's so good. I got the same thing. Nice. I'm right. Just finished our ice creams. Best ice creams ever. And we are now leaving. Universal Park for the last time for a little while. We're gonna hop on the bus, go for a bit of a swim. Right, we find ourselves back at Pier 8 where it all began. What have we got, Luke? I've got a burger with chips. I'm using the chips to spread the sauce. Nice, look at you. I've got the same. I've got a burger. I haven't had one this holiday, so you can Me too. Dezo. I've got a salad on fries. Of course you have. What you got? Greek salad? Yep. Very nice. So you went on Rocket this morning. How was Rocket? It was brilliant. We did the old uh... Oh yeah. That was Tripper Dreams. Have you told them about the trick? We have told yeah. yeah. We both listened to Rainbow Connection. Why are there so many songs about Rainbow? Right, lunch in Pier 8 done. My burger was a little bit average, but Luke's was nice. It's good. But the first burger I had it on the first night, I was disappointed by my burger. And I took a bite of Dad's and I thought, oh, that was my first night burger, whereas mine was. Is that very nice indeed. Nice. Tracy, how was your burger? Very tasty. It was a little bit dry, but I like my meat on the dry side anyway, so that was alright. Nice. Tasty. Daisy, are you happy with your salad? Mm. Well, I'm quite full up though. Yeah. Mm. Right, off to the pool. It is a beautiful day out there, and we're just heading down to the pool. But the thing that I was going to mention, where is my light? The thing that I was going to mention um, earlier on, we've actually not us for a late checkout because when we booked this trip we knew our flights were going to be slightly later so our flights are at five to seven so we don't need to leave the resort till uh three three thirty so we're going to get an uber um but to save asking for late checkouts probably the latest if you can get a late checkout the latest you're going to get is about one o'clock um we actually booked the room for an extra night so instead of booking it for a seven night stay we booked it for an eight night stay which has worked out really really well um, it also helped that this was a value resort. Can't remember exactly what we paid per night, but it was about about 120 pounds a night. And I kind of thought, for the sake of having that whole extra day, or, or what feels like a whole extra day on resort, it, it was kind of worth that. And I still feel that now. If we were staying at like a deluxe resort, if it was like way more money, I'm not sure so much. But it's definitely something that we're going to bear in mind for future trips. Anyway, we're gonna head down to the pool. Tracy's down there with a book. Me and the kids are gonna head down now. Right, had a lovely dip in the pool. Weather's fantastic. Time to go and pack, which is a bit sad, but you know, it's gotta be done. So yeah, gonna pop up to the room, get ourselves sorted. It's just coming up for two o'clock. We're gonna head down to reception about three, order an Uber, 
and head over to MCO. Right, it is 10 to 3. We are all packed up and, well, Daisy's very chill in your new holiday travel. Ele travel Thanks, Dad. No, no worries. Tracy, right in out. Your new luggage tag, let's have a look. I know, but I smashed it all, but never mind. Oh no, but that is beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful isn't it? Luke, still packing. Hi. Hi, it's me, Luke. Uh, thoughts? We, right, we stayed in one of these rooms before, but uh, last time we stayed in this room, and there were three of us, so me, Tracy, and Luke. I thought we were gonna really come unstuck. Not really come unstuck, but I thought having one bathroom would be challenging. It has been absolutely fine. Daisy, thoughts on the room? I love it there. The beds are so comfy. Yeah. I've got nothing bad to say. Nothing bad to say. Trace, where are you? I'm in the bedroom. You're in the bedroom. Thoughts on the room for yeah. four of us. Yeah, it's worked really well. Much better than I expected. Yeah. Yeah, much, much better. Luke, any thoughts on the room for four of us? I love it. It was actually quite nice having Daisy. Yeah, it's good, wasn't it? And it also, if you think of the um, price point for this room, this room could sleep six people it's got three double beds it would be properly tight but if you're on a budget and you wanted to stay on a resort and get all those resort perks like free transportation early access i think the price point check this because it might be wrong is about 120 pounds a night so if you're thinking that there's six of you sharing a room again will be tight will be challenging you might have to come up with some sort of timetable for uh the bathroom it's 20 pound a night it's really, really good. Like, really, really good. Again, that will change with different times of the year. And double check, because I might be a little bit off, but it is a very good value resort. Um, one of the reasons we are all kind, not chipper, because we are going home, but we got a nice little, we got a nice little perk on the way home, because we are flying Virgin upper class. Yeah, YouTube money's finally rolled in, and we're cashing out. Uh, we're deleting the channel after this. Uh, but yeah, we've made our millions and now we're, we're going to fly like rock stars. Daisy, Virgin Upper Class, excited? I'm very excited. It makes it less horrible going home. Yes. Tracy, yes. Virgin Upper Class. Yoohoo! How are you feeling? Yeah, looking forward to that. That's yeah. a real nice treat on the way back. Yeah, so we have got um, all the perks that come with that, like priority check in. Um, you know, for you interested to see what the cabin's like, we've kind of checked to see what plane we're on. On our outbound trip, we were on a um, on a new plane. I think we're on the same plane coming back. So, upper class on a new plane could be super fancy. And we'll have access to the lounge at MCO, which is the airport, which would be nice. So yeah, well then we're going home, you know. We're going home in style. We are going home in style and we are gonna go, we are trying to live, where's my life? We are trying to live our lives always with something booked and we're not going to tell you yet but we have got something booked so we partially know booked. huh it's only partially booked it is only partially like partially booked. pardon partially booked. it's partially booked partially so booked. we know we're going to be back sometime soon which is always exciting so um we are going to head down to um reception and book an uber um one thing not not like a massive downside but a lot of the universal staff haven't been as good as they were like when we were here last especially on the parks and um, there's not a lot of good morning hello how are you it's all like it's a lot of that which is a real shame but you when know you do get it it is really good yeah, yeah. Uh, the Italian last night was really good yeah, yeah it's just at christmas there was mo mostly everyone was like that now obviously they're getting busier there's more staff maybe there's more that aren't quite up to that standard but yeah you know. i would say 70% of the staff were not 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 bad, but like, hello mate, how are you? And like, when we're in Hogwarts, someone all like, in full uniform, like, looking in the business, hello mate, how are you? Oh, I wish I was still in bed. I'm like, okay, um, you know, he probably did, but, but it is what it is. It, it, and what we did notice when we went to um, Disney to do our DVC thing, um, it was, night and shade on, on like the customer service levels but not comparable I don't think so we will be if you are considering coming to Dockside it is a 10 out of 10 for me when you look at everything especially the value and look at our view um, the only slight downside is we have had a couple of noisy people next door and out in the hallways the sound insula insulation could be better but you know 
overall this resort is it's great. It's £120 a night. Huh? <laughs> it's £120 a night. Yeah. You well, can't really complain at that price. Or, there, or thereabouts. <laughs> well, <laughs> there were some screaming kids in the hallway this morning. Um, but you, who does that? Who goes out at like 6.30 and makes a noise? Like we're creeping around. Anyway, can't always everyone be like that. We will go down, get our bags down, get to the airport. Right, bye lobby. Good hotel this. Right, Uber all booked. This hotel's great. It's been great. It's very hot today. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. hotel's great. Uh, this hotel is great. So Uber's all booked. Daisy, happy. Good hotel. Good hotel, good holiday. Yeah, really good holiday. Right, off to the airport. I was saying actually, sorry, don't want to cut off like the off to the airport bit, but uh, so it's mum. No part of this holiday. There wasn't a single moment that felt anything COVID-y. Oh, good shout. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. no masks, it, no hand sanitizer you anywhere. You wouldn't know it was even a thing. No. This, this has been a COVID-free experience for the last week. So, well done, yeah, it's a proper shout. Yeah, it's been lovely. It's nice to have the upper class check in. Yeah. Right, check in all done. That was quite nice. Nothing like overly fancy, but you know, didn't have to queue too much. So I think now we're going to go through security, head to the lounge. Right, MCO, we'll see you soon. Right, we're all through security. Guess who got a tug? Not me. Try to take a Leatherman on the plane. How bad is that? They confiscated it and they're going to put it in the bin. In my defence, it was like a tiny little Leatherman that goes on my key ring. Also, Never mind. Like, how did it get out here? I did bring it out here as that well. It's kind of concerning. It's on my car keys, it's on my key ring. It's got like a little pair of scissors and a little knife and a little bottle opener. It is a tiny one, I'm not like that guy. You are, but you're not. I am, but I'm not. Yeah. It's a little, the guy was like, you got anything sharp in your bag? I went, I don't think so. So it's one time Luke uh, got confused between runnies and hards, like liquids and solids. But at least I didn't get confused between <laughs> car keys and weapons. <laughs> you sack of a man going on a plane with, with a knife. <laughs> I did think, oh my god, I am in big trouble. <laughs> right, we're getting on the last ride of the holiday. Uh, for now. Right, we're all through now and we're going to look for the lounge that we get that's complimentary. Ooh, yeah. Uh, that we get with our airline tickets. The, we got an Uber XL from Dockside to the airport, which easily took four of us and four big cases. I reckon it could take five and five cases and it was $35, which I thought was really good. Nice. Busy. Busy. Well, it's nice, got Italian. on. Man City, Real Madrid. Well, it's very calm. Yeah, I'm going to get some. Like some business centre bits. Right, so it's coming up for five o'clock. We've been in the Delta Lounge for about an hour. Really impressed. Number one. What do you think? It's Goodwood style. It's very nice. Is that a, a reference that your channel knows? Goodwood style? Not really, <coughs> but it was a good day out, wasn't it? It was, yeah, it's just really, really nice in here. What have we got there? Got, um, I actually done a mix and match. Got a jambalaya, and then I added some, like, sort of Thai curry on top as well, so I got curry and rice. Smells good. What's it like? Mm. A real delicate flavour, which I've absolutely demolished with hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> really burst with, uh, the effervescent fizz of, like, upon the sun, and it's, <laughs> it's quite, quite frankly, it's delicious. How's your lounge experience? Very chill. Nice, isn't it? Very nice, yeah. Very... 
Very relaxing. Yeah, getting on the plane now. Getting on the plane. Excited. Well, it is because it's going to be a nice plane to get on and we're travelling in a nice style. So I don't really want to go home. No. It's been nice to stay for a bit longer. But, yeah. Um, never mind. How are you feeling, Dezo? I don't really know. I know. Nice lounge, though. Yep. Thank you. Hello. What do you think? My camera's not for us, please. Daisy, what do you think? Well, fancy. So we've got a telly there. All these controls here. We've got a drink ready. I'll have, um, I'll have a look in a bit. Right, so we've got like a nice big table, which is comes down here and then slides in. So plenty of space. This is going to spoil us forever. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Went to the loo. It's like a disco in there. All is the it? music that's being packed is really loud in the loo. No way. Yeah, in the loo. Is it? Yeah. You wanted to change it for us, I guess. It's not that there's much room to change in there. That would be a good feat of engineering <laughs> if you managed to do it. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. And the telly seems nice and big. Got a little button there. Push that and wait for it. Look at that. Big telly. Let's give you an example of how big it is. <laughs> Pop that back. Sorry, I was still We've got controls here for your seats. Yeah, little shelves. This is a very nice place to be. This is a nice touch. Got a little light there with that push. That comes on. Very nice. Got a little shelf there. Got a little armrest. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> what you got? Got champagne. champagne. What's it like? Champagne. There you go. Very nice. Nice. Don't mind if I do. Hello. <laughs> Who goes there? What do you think? Really nice. <laughs> it's really nice, isn't it? Your, your thingy one. I think maybe when we yeah, start course, get so. um, going. And you got one here as well. I know, so I can close myself off to all the cameras. <laughs> Finally, yeah. it's all I've ever wanted. All right, so it looks like got upgraded headphones, which are very nice. It's very, very comfortable in here. The lighting's nice. All the surroundings are very nice. We'll have a wander around the cabin in the bit. Huh? Don't get any more points. Well, stop! Stop bringing children on the holiday with us. Who's that? Yeah. Get paid This is really nice. Yeah, I really, really like it a lot. It does look good. Got a little goodie bag. Let's have a look, see what's in it. Got a pen. Got some. What's that? I haven't got my glasses on. Taking the drinks order, that's coming around. I'm gonna carry on with the film. 
So they do alcohol free cocktails as well, which is great for me because I don't drink. And I've got this one, which is called the Party Starter, and this one, which is called. is called, bear with. Uh, the Dream Maker. Service is fantastic. So Tracy and I have gone for the same, gone for the prawns to start. How's your food? It's lovely. It's great, isn't it? Yeah, really, really lovely. So I went for the chicken, smells amazing. And now, peach cobbler. that they've just brought out. All landed. How's your flight? Yeah, it was good, thank you. Nice. Yeah, it was really nice. How's your flight, Trace? <laughs> <laughs> Disheveled. Daisy, how are you? <laughs> right, we're all back in the car. That was a really, really lovely flight. But with like any flights like that, it's not like the best. It's not like your bed at home. So it is coming up to. My bed doesn't have a used nappy on. <laughs> Looks like they had a used nappy underneath it. Not very upper class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that and was nice. it's coming up for quarter past ten, so we're about to. And I didn't have a blanket. <laughs> and I didn't have a blanket. Not a very upper class experience. <laughs> and, the slide, and the slides on my little area didn't work. <laughs> All mine. However, I thought overall a fantastic flight. So we got about an hour and a bit's drive home. So we better hit the road. Right, we are all back, unpacked. Not really, that happened ages ago. You can even tell, I've got different haircut and everything. Guess what? Good old cheers is, forgot to f record the last bit of the holiday. So, what's the date today, Trace? 16th of June. 16th of June. Good job, cheers is. Um, however, that was an amazing trip. Feels like a little while ago now, to be honest, but it was absolutely fantastic. Um, Dockside does not disappoint, you know. I still can't believe that that is classed as a value resort. There is nothing value about that resort. Okay, on this trip, the buses were a little bit overwhelmed. It was pretty busy, but it's not like they're overwhelmed and then there's nothing waiting. I don't mind being in a queue if you can see, oh, there are enough buses, we just need to get the volume on there. So yeah, it is a tip-top resort. Orlando um, Universal is just still phenomenal. And yeah, it was a, just a really, really, lovely week away. I still stand by, you know, if you are looking for just a mega week away, you're gonna have to, for value as well, I'm not saying it's cheap, but you know, when you're looking at the cost of Disney compared to Universal, that week on Universal represents really, really good value for money. Um, especially when, if you're just going away for that one week, you can get all of Universal done, over and over, city walks fantastic, and yeah, and just being on being on property just gives you that flexibility. You know, you'll have seen there were a couple of nights when we literally decided last minute, should we go back on the parks? Yeah, let's go. And rather than having to get like lengthy transportation, Uber, Lyft, if you're driving, you know, driving, you don't have to do that. You just pop down to reception, hop on a bus, and you're there. It's just worth its weight in gold and yeah really really impressed um our flights back 
Wow, phenomenal. I mean, really, really lovely. Is it worth the money? I don't know. You know, we've been doing Florida for a long time. Um, and I really think, especially if you get on a new flight, economy's good enough for me. I really think so. Also, we currently have to stump up for 40, I don't mind paying for Trace, because she like chips in a bit. Um, but while we're paying for the children and, you know, bits and pieces, I think economy's good enough. Especially on the outbound, because you're all excited because you're going there, so yeah. But it was very nice having that, um, that, what's it called? Upper class on the way back, it was absolutely phenomenal. And yeah, it was another really, really fantastic trip. Uh, highlight for me, bumping into a couple of you lovely lot, coming and saying hello, chatting about things we love, made our holiday. So thank you so much for like joining us, you know, on this one. We've got stuff in the pipeline, you know, not gonna be long before we're back. Um, and we've got lots of stuff going on in life as well, which we'll, you know, keep you updated with. So stay safe, be kind, look after one another. Cheers, is.